My name is Dan Cummins. You can watch my new special, Trying to Get Better, on YouTube right now. I hope you do. Like it. Get in there. Leave some comments. It has the weirdest comment section of any special on the, uh, on the internet right now, thanks to uh, Time Suck Podcast listeners filling it with nonsense. And this is the AV Club. Oh my God. I fucking hate magicians and clowns. Um, <laughs> that's... Uh, that's like, do you want to be uh, tortured on the rack or do you want to like be like burned alive? Um, I really, really don't like magicians or clowns. Uh, God, so which one do I like better? I guess a magician, uh, cause in theory they can make themselves disappear. I don't have to fucking see him anymore. Oh man, George Carl and Richard Pryor, uh, Truly, truly love both of them. For me, the edge is Carlin, though. I think a lot of people would edge with Pryor. He's more like emotional, more uh, revealing of his personal life on stage. But I liked Carlin's mind and, and the way he would skewer society. And um, I feel like kindred spirits, where it's like with Carlin, I always got the sense that there's no sacred cows. Because that's how I feel. Like when somebody like really, truly gets upset when I'm making fun of their ideology, I'm like, I always just think like, how fucking weak are you that some stranger just sharing jokes could like, like I've made people cry in audiences a fair amount over the years. And I just, some people would feel guilty. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't fucking respect you. You're gonna fucking cry because uh, another grown up said some things like you don't like. It's like, oh, you're fucking weak. And I feel like Carlin didn't care about that either. SNL or Mad TV? Uh, I guess, yeah, SNL, just the history of SNL. I, w I would put um, In Living Color <laughs> probably the highlight of that above both of them. But for me, like, um, Mad TV did have a couple really funny sketches, but overall, I was just like, eh. I grew up in a, a tiny town of about 500 people, so I understand small town life, and then met my wife in LA and lived there, and, uh, if I had to live in a small town or big city, probably big, it's weird, probably big city because I love like the food options, but I also generally hate people and you're surrounded by more people in a big city. Um, but the people watching is good, even if you don't like the people, just sitting on a bench and judging them is fun. So I think big city.